This 150-year-old wooden door is part of Tak Tak Communal Hall in Yun Long, which is one of the city's declared monuments. But it did not always look that good. Before the conservation office got its hands on it, there was a gaping hole in the door, and the carved door gods had almost disappeared. The bottom of the wooden door was moldy and beyond repair. All we could do was saw off the damaged part and replace it with the same type of wood. The plaster couplet on the facade of Hong Kong's only remaining purpose-built communal hall had seen better days. Before the conservators moved in, the writing on the couplet was fading and the plaster was cracked. To prevent the couplet breaking again, they placed a carbon fiber cloth behind it to reinforce it. Government conservation officers recently helped restore the hall by reinforcing its timber doors and repairing the plaster couplet using traditional building methods. For the Tak Tak communal hall restoration, they extensively researched what kind of gilding was used on the door god's armor, whether it was gold leaf or gold paint, before they started restoring it to its original luster. Tiny samples were taken and placed under a special high-tech microscope, which allowed conservation scientists to analyze the paint pigment. They discovered it was gold leaf and used that to touch up the gilding. Conservation Office laboratories are equipped with state-of-the-art technology. It provides important information on how the artifact was constructed, the original materials used to produce it, and how it was damaged, which can help decide the future conservation treatment. The office has three x-ray machines, so that information undetectable to the naked eye on materials from paintings to large metal artifacts can be established. For example, archaeological finds are often buried deep in the soil. We cannot see the artifacts underneath. We use an x-ray machine similar to a medical x-ray to conduct a detailed examination. Dust and mold are commonly found on historical paintings. That is where the experience and expertise of the conservators comes in. They must judge how to remove the impurities without damaging the original surface. We use a stereo microscope to examine the moldy areas. The ionized water, not tap water, is used to remove impurities. Trained conservators are often described as artifact doctors who must protect and enhance artifacts without harming them. Many conservation specialists consider it their duty to protect heritage sites and buildings for the enjoyment of current and future generations. Everything deteriorates over time. Without conservation to be fans or delay the deterioration process, these artifacts will soon disappear. Future generations will have nothing left to help them understand the history, arts and technology of their predecessors. The Conservation Office recruits volunteers online so that members of the community can do their part to help save buildings of historical value. The office is also launching its first conservation clinic, which will be open on Saturdays and Sundays from late June to mid-July. It gives people a chance to consult with a conservation specialist, who can assess and provide advice on how to preserve family heirlooms, such as old documents, paintings or silverware. People can sign up for the clinic until June 18th, but the quota is limited. For more details, please visit the Conservation Office website.